Hello! I'm excited to share with you some new features recently released inside of Zellage. Zellage is a terminal multiplexer designed for people who love the terminal, like me. If you've heard of Tmux or Screen, Zellage is somewhat similar to those. Zellage has recently released new features of stacked panes and swap layouts. Behind me is a preview of what you'll be seeing in this video, although I'll be going much slower and guiding you along the way. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so you can install Zellage from your package manager of choice. In my case, I'll install using Brew. But you can also install from Cargo, or there's even a way to try it out without installing at all. And now we'll launch Zellage, and I'll run a command in our primary pane. So to create a new pane in Zellage, you press Alt-N, and you'll notice that there's a new vertical layout indicator in the bottom right of the terminal. And we'll type in another command in this pane. I'll create a special Zellage run command using the ZR alias, and run npm run lint. This is a special pane that will show its exit status and allow us to rerun the command by pressing enter. And we'll create one more pane, this time running npm run dev for our dev environment. Once you have some panes, you can navigate between the panes with alt arrows or alt hjkl, and we'll go up to the top right pane. And you can move around the panes with control h, then arrows or n or p. We'll move the top right pane to the bottom. Okay, so that was the default vertical layout. Let's swap to another layout by pressing Alt Square Right Bracket, which will toggle us to the horizontal layout. Just like we did before, you can navigate between the panes with Alt Arrows or Alt HJKL, and you can still move around or reorder the panes like we did in the previous layout. Okay, so the layout I'm most excited about is the stacked layout. Just as before, you could press Alt Right Square Bracket to switch to this layout. The reason I'm so excited about this layout is that you could visually see a lot of context without sacrificing a lot of real estate. Meaning I could quickly see what panes are available, what they're running, and even the exit status of the Zellage run command. As in previous versions of Zellage, you have the ability to create a floating window with Control P W. And you could create multiple of these, as before. I'll create two others with Alt N. You can navigate between these windows with Alt Arrows or Alt A J K L, and you can toggle back and forth where you were with Control P W. The cool thing is that as soon as you control PW again, these floating windows will be waiting for you just as before. Before we move on to more floating pane goodness, if you found this video helpful, please like it so it could spread to more people. And if you're not subscribed, now might be a good time. Thanks. Okay, so just like other panes, you can move floating panes with control H and the arrows. Once you start manually adjusting the location, the staggered layout indicator in the bottom right grays out because you're taking control. You could also move them around with your mouse, which is pretty cool. As with other panes, there are alternate layouts for floating panes. If you press Alt, right square bracket, it changes to the enlarged layout, which could be really handy if you need some extra real estate. Then if you press Alt, right square bracket again, you enter the spread layout. That could be handy if you quickly want to see what's all in your floating panes at once. And you could go back to the staggered layout by pressing Alt, right square bracket again. The nice thing about floating panes is that you can embed an existing floating pane back into the main layout with Control P E. Then we'll pick another pane, our linting pane, and eject it with Control P E to be a floating pane. And for this special pane, I could hit Enter to rerun the command. Okay, one last thing I want to show, which really isn't a new feature at all, but it comes in really handy when dealing with panes, is full screen. For any pane, press Control P F to go full screen. You can notice in the status bar that Zellage is reminding you that you are in full screen mode. This feature can be handy when you want to laser focus and zoom in one task, like if you're using an editor like NeoVim. And to exit full screen mode, you press Control P F again. Okay, well that was a whirlwind tour of the new features inside of Zellage. I can already see myself using many of these features in my daily workflow. If you like this content and would like to see a more beginner overview of Zellage, please let me know in the comments below. If Zillage is new to you, maybe this is just what you needed to spark your interest. Until next time, keep learning.